Alright, I had a, an old 5 horse Briggs lawnmower engine lying around. It was half buried into the ground and full of water for a few years. So I figured I might as well pull it apart and here's what's inside of it. The whole thing was all entirely corroded. You can see into the cylinder there. This thing's completely stuck. It doesn't turn at all. But yeah, that's really nasty. So anyways, that's that. Um, I'm going to make this engine into an air pump. I'm going to make it kind of like an antique style with the inverted cylinder. So it'll basically be upside down. I'm going to make it into more of an air compressor. But I'm going to cut the, cut the back half of the block off and leave the <coughs> leave the main bearings and the camshaft bearings so that I can always turn it back into an engine and yeah so this is going to be mounted onto a piece of wood I'm going to have a, a hose coming from the spark plug hole put it into two check valves one one will be reversed for intake and then the other one will be for the output and I'll belt it up to something and hopefully I'll have an air compressor so yeah, I'll make another video of this when I get it all apart. Alright, I got it all apart. And you can see how disgusting it is in there. Um, the crank was corroded in. So I had to use my no-no tool to get it to turn and then I had to hammer it out. And it's all rusted up. The camshaft was corroded in there too. So I kind of bent the timing wheel because it's plastic. Here's the governor. Your governor arm. The piston is somewhat unstuck. Not much though. It still needs to be pounded out. So I'll do some more video when I get the piston out. Alright, I got the piston out. This pin is kind of seized. So it's going to need to be pulled apart. The cylinder is in okay condition. I'll probably give it a hung. But yeah, I had to pull the piston out backwards because I couldn't get, get it out through the top. So I had to push it back in through the crankcase. So that's that. Here's the crankshaft. After cleaning it up and putting it in, it rotates. It's still tight, but it, it at least rotates now. So yeah, it's just pretty much just corroded. I'm going to probably soak it for a few days in some degreaser. And then cut it open and start building my air pump. Alright, this is my homemade parts cleaning area. I cleaned out this part of my shed. So, I got water in here that I've just got attached to some pipes. One's the drain and one hooks up to my faucet that I put out here. So it's all roll up a bowl that's a word and for the drain I just have a hole in the bottom of this bucket and it goes into a funnel and then it goes into this pipe instead of having the put a fitting on the bottom it makes it a lot easier so anyways there's water in there for right now I'm gonna plug up this hole real quick um, put a little bit of water on the bottom and just scrub it I got my wire brush and I'll show you when it's done alright I got the piston and the crank done the rings were stuck so I got the rings unstuck and here's what it looks like after cleaning still got a bit of corrosion on it but it's good enough um, I cleaned up the piston timing gear and here's the crank 
Still got some rust on it. I might put it in the uh, electrolysis tank later. I got some some rebar to use as some electrodes. So now I'm gonna do the block, which is really nasty. All right, here's the finished product. Um, I sawed the crankshafts in half because when I sawed off the top of the um, oil stump, the middle part broke out. So, and it's just pot metal, so I can't weld it or anything. So I just decided to make it a half crank, which makes it look cooler anyways. So here's the other half of the crankshaft. I just sawed it off and left a little bit of a ridge so that I won't have to worry about the connecting rod sliding off. And I made this base for it this way. Um, this is just a base that I just knocked up, but I just got a metal plate. Then underneath, I've got a, an air compressor fitting hammered into it. Then that goes to with this hose. And at the end, I'm going to make up a check valve system. Basically, I'm just going to have a T. One end is going to be a one-way check valve, and the other one's going to be one-way. But one will only go in, one will only go out. So right now it's just hooked up just to the um, just to the, the piston, so it just sucks and then blows and then sucks and blows and etc. So yeah, that's that's it for right now. Um, I've got it belted to my restored GE electric motor, and I'll plug it in so you can see it working. Need to make a switch for this. Like I said, I'll just make up that check valve system, and I'll probably, eventually this is going to be raised up a little bit more, so that this will fit just when it's sitting just flat. Right now it needs to be propped up, otherwise the hose will kink in the bottom. But I'm going to raise it up, and then after that I'm just going to have a metal hose, or maybe just a plastic hose, something going up, and then I'll just have a little pipe coming up with a regular valve. And then that will just be the output. But that's that's pretty much it, the finished product.